Nowadays, advancements in agriculture machinery are the driving force in agricultural production. Right now, these factories are in full swing to speed up production for the spring planting. To find out what's going on, we will go to the agricultural machinery factory. What should we see in the factory? First, let's take a look at the speed. Now is the time for spring plowing, and all the agricultural machinery companies are rushing production and progress. I'm in an agricultural machinery production factory in Weifang, Shandong. Let's see how fast it is to assemble a tractor. After my observation just now, I found that a tractor comes out of the production line every five minutes or so. That means this factory can produce more than 400 tractors a day. This is possible with the fully automated production equipment. Right by my side is a transmission air tightness testing equipment. This was previously done manually, which was very slow. Since this equipment was used, the speed has been reduced from six to seven minutes to three to four minutes, which is a great time saver. Every one of these 81 production processes has been optimized. This allows the production of agricultural machinery to provide a guarantee for the speed of our spring planting. What's new about the agricultural machinery? Around me, there's a field that is completely automated by the agricultural machinery. Let's have a look at how the tractor is being operated. No driver is on the tractor, so how can it run? This one is unmanned. After setting the parameters, all you have to do is click on the start button to start navigation, and it will be fully unmanned. You can also switch to manual remote control mode and drive the machinery like a toy car. Do you have any new technologies this year? In the past, we used satellite for unmanned operation, but now it's based on visual navigation. Recently, we have added cameras, and it's like adding a pair of eyes to the vehicle. We can identify the obstacle through vision, achieve precise obstacle avoidance, and add the visual eyes to make it safer. Identification of crops can also be done through visual localization instead of a satellite localization. 